Welcome to Buckeye, Arizona, where affordable living meets a desert oasis. In this video, I'm going to talk about all of the true costs of living in Buckeye so you don't want to miss it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cynthia Salvador and I am your local real estate agent here in the West Valley. We're going to jump right into it and talk about the true cost or how much it actually is to live in the city of Buckeye. You already know we're going to get started with housing. The city of Buckeye offers a wide range of options within any budget. With the cost of living being lower out in the city of Buckeye than it is compared to the city of Phoenix, you can end up getting more house and having a great living situation as well. The median home price in the city of Buckeye is $450,000. Now, now, Buckeye is a massive city, like square footage wise, when you look at it. So 450,000 is the average for the city. I'm not talking about Verado. We'll get there. This is just for the city of Buckeye. Okay, now if you're looking in the community of Verado, it's gonna change a little bit and it's sitting at 600,000. The city of Buckeye is in Maricopa County. So we're gonna use that when it comes to property tax and what your value is gonna be. Your average property tax in Maricopa County is 0.57% of the assessed value. There is also a CFD tax, which is a community facilities district tax. Some communities do have this, some cities have this, others don't. Buckeye is one of the cities that does have that. Basically, Basically, this CFD tax maintains your road, water, facilities, things like that. Property taxes are usually billed in two installments, so you end up paying one in May and then another one in October. Okay, let's go ahead and take an example. Let's say you move to the city of Buckeye, you purchase a home for $450,000 based on today's interest rate of 6.75%, and let's just assume that you're putting down 10%, your principal and interest, so your P&I, your HOA, plus your homeowner's insurance, property taxes, and mortgage insurance, that's gonna put you at about $3,000 a month. Now, of course, utilities, electric, gas, things like that, water, it does depend on usage. So, you know, add another couple hundred in there as well. When it comes to everyday type of expenses, Buckeye is a growing city. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna continue to say it because it is. If we're looking at like the cost of food, for example, grocery stores, Fry's is the major grocery store around here and pretty much everywhere in the Valley. Uh, Safeway is another option, but there's also like Aldi, there's Trader Joe's not in the city of, of Buckeye hopefully soon hopefully uh, Trader Joe's if you're watching please bring lots of Buckeye but also like shops like that where you do have options for grocery shopping and you do also have local markets so in the city of Buckeye since there are farms out here you can go to like a local farm and buy produce we have local farmers markets pop up everywhere in like any community so there are places that you can go to get local produce as well but affordability doesn't mean that you're compromising on quality in fact, there's a lot of things coming to Buckeye. Watch my latest video on Verado Marketplace and kind of the, what's coming around that area so that you can see what I'm talking about. But the quality of life is great out here. It's not like you're in a desolate type of city where there's nothing to do. And the fact that it's continuing to grow at the rate that it is, you're just gonna have more and more options. So more amenities, more services, more community get togethers, things like that. You will continue to see that in the city of Buckeye and in the West Valley in general. Okay, let's talk briefly about entertainment as well because we have to have fun, right? The city of Buckeye and the West Valley in general does offer a bunch of recreational activities. Not to mention there's almost always community events happening in any of the cities in the West Valley. Now, unlike the city of Phoenix, we don't have as many dining options. I'm gonna just be honest with you, we don't. But those options are coming and they're continuing to come because in the West Valley, there's a lot of new restaurants that pop up and especially in Buckeye, again, because it's growing, there's going to be even more restaurant options. So we will get that type of dining. Um, but there are some places that like I wouldn't be able to go to in Buckeye that I would have to go to Phoenix. For example, I love a great sushi spot. I have not found one in the West Valley. And my favorite one just happens to be in the city of Phoenix. But if you're super outdoorsy, you love to golf, hike, walk, you've got dogs, I don't know, you like to be outdoors, you would definitely have a ton of options when it comes to hiking and parks and community get togethers in the West Valley. So that for sure, you don't have to worry about. So if you're looking for an affordable area of the Valley to call home, Buckeye might be the best spot for you. If you have questions about this or you wanna know some more details, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you wanna learn more about the city of Buckeye, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I talk a lot about this city and the West Valley and all the things that we have here. So if you have questions about it, call or text me. Here's my contact information here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.